Hello and welcome to episode 1 of Modern Warfare 3 In-Depth. My name is Drifter, and today we're going to cover the FMG9 Machine Pistol. The FMG9 is available as soon as you can create a custom class, and it's in one of the default classes. Its maximum damage is 40, and its minimum damage over range is 20. This makes it a 3-5 to five shot kill at any range, or theoretically two headshots at very close range. The damage drop is incredibly sharp, and it happens at a very short distance. Comparatively, the damage drop on the FMG9 is the same as the USAS shotgun, except the bullets don't disappear, they're just doing minimum damage after a very short distance away from you. Thus, the silencer is a very poor attachment because you will always be doing minimum damage at almost any range and it will always require five shots to kill. This weapon offsets its low range with an incredibly high rate of fire of 1034 rounds per minute. While this is not the highest among machine pistols, it is a very close second to the G18 in damage per second. Its ADD reload, or reload with the action cancel time, is the highest among machine pistols, tied with the G18, at 1.83 seconds. The reported raise and drop times for this weapon are both 0.66 seconds. However, I'm not entirely sure if this is calculated from the first or second draw of the FMG9. Unique in all of the Call of Duty games, as far as I'm aware, the FMG9 has a different draw time the second time you draw upon it. The first time you draw the FMG9, you'll notice that you have to unfold the stock first before you can use it, and the second time you draw it, the stock is already unfolded and ready to go. One very useful tip for this weapon is that as soon as you spawn, you should tap Y why so that the second time that you need to draw the FMG9 or when you actually need it in combat you can draw it faster and you won't have to worry about unfolding the stock or waiting for that animation. The 36 round magazine is the largest of all machine pistols and it's very much so needed because this is a sprayer's weapon of choice. Aiming down sights, be it with the iron sights or with the red dot attachment, seems to be largely a waste of time. Having the red dot sight does offset some of the accuracy issues because you can actually see what you're aiming at as opposed to the very obtrusive iron sights. However, the recoil is very heavy, the range is very low, and at the range that you're likely to use this weapon, this is really not the attachment of choice. The most commonly seen attachment for this weapon is akimbo. With the akimbo attachment, the weapon's naturally tight hip fire is preserved along with doubling your rate of fire and thus effective damage. The FMG9 akimbo can and will kill multiple enemies very quickly and leave you with ammunition remaining. The downside is that the upward drift on the crosshairs is effectively doubled. This weapon can be very deadly at long ranges akimbo, however most players, myself included, have difficulty controlling the upward drift when accuracy is needed. My favorite attachment for this weapon is extended mags. With extended mags, the magazine size increases to 54. I normally hip fire and keep the weapon fairly under control because I don't have to worry about as much upward drift as I do with akimbo. Even with extended mags, you'll burn through ammunition very quickly, so you'll likely want scavenger on a class using extended mags. This secondary weapon is best used on a class with steady aim. Since hip firing is the way to go, you'll want steady aim with every single class that this weapon is on. If the class that you're using the FMG9 on does not have steady aim, then I would recommend you changing to a different secondary weapon for that class. Well, that's all for this episode. Next time I'll be covering the MP9 machine pistol. Drifter out.